Today, I'm going to teach you the difference between a closed syllable and an open syllable. But in order for me to teach you a closed syllable and an open syllable, I have to teach you what a syllable is. Syllables live in words. And guess what? In order for this to be a word, it must contain a vowel. So these are our vowels. So can you pick which one the vowel is? This is the vowel. And the vowels we're going to mark off as houses. So get your red pen out and just make a triangle and fill it in. Then you're just going to make a square to make a house. Now you got a house. And if the word has one vowel, then that means that one vowel equals a one syllable word. So we just taught you what a syllable is. Syllable has to have a vowel. Then after you found the vowel, then you're just going to look next door after the vowel. So notice we're in parking spot three here and we have to figure out what kind of letter is it. Is it a vowel or a consonant? It's a consonant. And we mark off as blue dots and we call them blue flies. So take a blue dot, then you have a blue fly next to a house. And guess what? This house right here doesn't like blue flies next to it because the blue fly can go in the house. So guess what the house does? It makes a door and it's gonna close off the door so that that fly cannot go inside the house because there's a door that there, there now, a closed door. This is a closed syllable. Whenever there's a blue fly next door, you close the door. So that's a closed syllable. Our house gets to make either a short sound, a baby sound, or a long sound. It gets to scream its letter name. Well, when there's a blue fly next door, remember it had to shut the door. It had to close the door. It's not gonna be very happy. And because there's an icky blue fly next door, it's going to cry its baby sound. These are our sound sticks. Which one's the baby stick? This one. That's also known as the short sound. So we're going to go ahead and make a short stick above it. And now you know this is the short sound, the baby sound. Ah! So then now you can touch the word and read it. Touch parking spot one. This is the beginning of the word or the beginning of the syllable. Parking spot two is the middle of the word or the middle of the syllable. And parking spot three is the end of the word or the end of the syllable. P -a -n pan. The word is pan. You did it. You just read and decoded a one syllable word. And it's a closed syllable word because there's a blue fly next door. You close the door. You don't want the blue fly to go in that house. And remember, if there's a blue fly next door, you're going to cry your baby sound, the short sound. Now, I wanted to show you one more way to draw your house when there's a blue fly. Well, some students, they love to make a door to close the door. But some students, they like to get their pen and they just like to close up the whole house. Because if you close up the whole house, then that fly can't go in the house. So your choice on how you'd like to draw the house when there's a blue fly. You can either close the door like this or you can close up the whole house so that blue fly can't go in. So your choice. Next, how to make open syllable word. Well, the first thing you do is you look for the vowel and how's a vowel? Remember, it's going to be a syllable. So it does. It has a vowel. I'm going to make the roof a triangle and then a square for the house. Then all you do is you know that it's going to be a syllable. So one vowel equals one syllable. Then you look after the vowel and is there a blue fly there? Is there a letter there? There's nobody there. So this letter here it's going to be happy because it gets to keep its doors open. So it's going to be able to scream its letter name. It doesn't have to be quiet. It can scream. So get the screaming stick. That's the screaming stick and make it long. It's a long stick. So that's a long sound. So it'll be able to scream its letter name. E. It's so happy. The doors are open. So then touch parking spot one, the beginning and the ending and blend. Mm, e, me, the word is me. And that's how you decode an open syllable. Because if there's no blue fly next door, then it gets to keep the doors open. And just remember for a closed syllable, if there's a blue fly next door, then you close the door or you close up the house. So now you know the difference between a closed and open syllable. Make sure you like and subscribe.